So Alex Van Pelt, uh, the quarterback coach, offensive coordinator, was asked about the whole narrative that, you know, Baker Mayfield got better when Odell Beckham was not there. And can Baker still be really good with Odell Beckham? Here's Alex Van Pelt. I think Baker was better as the season went on, whether it had been Odell or not, had been on, you know, still out there. Uh, he started to understand the offense more, understand what we were asking him, got his footwork right. Um, and I think that he, he just he, – he got better regardless of who was on the field. Um, as I said earlier, you're, you're always better with great players. Um, anytime you take a great player off the field, um, you've got to find ways to, you know, to generate more offense. So we'll be better with Odell, no doubt. And, and that's the thing, Dan. All coaches in all sports will tell you, I'm a better coach when I have better players. Exactly. And, you know, it's it's complicated because Odell got hurt at just the wrong time for, for this narrative to pick up steam. It happened at the bye week. And during that bye week, you know, they played one game and then they had the bye and they really sort of sat down and they reevaluated everything. And they really tailored this offense to Baker Mayfield's strengths, more rollouts, more play action. Baker's confidence grew. And so is there a scenario where we can come out this year and four or five games into the season, we start to realize, oh, you know what, maybe it was Odell? Sure. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I think Odell's going to fit in seamlessly. And I think a big piece of it, too, is Baker is going to have more confidence in this offense and more confidence in being the leader of this offense. I think we did see that a little bit this week. He would take guys aside and, and you could tell they were talking about routes or talking about concepts or just the way he was talking to some of his receivers. So I think he's going to take more ownership in this offense, and that's going to make it so that he doesn't always feel obligated to force the ball to a Jarvis or force the ball to Odell. I, I think he's going to let things kind of come to him a little bit more. Fair enough to say that's because he understands the offense. There's that, that second level of understanding that you can only get to by doing something for a, a length of time. Yeah, he understands the offense, and also the organization has backed him. They've made it very clear that they believe Baker Mayfield is their quarterback. They picked up his fifth-year option. Yeah, if they're going to get an extension done, I believe, at some point. If it's not this offseason, they'll get something done either during the season or, or next offseason. I really do believe they're committed to Baker Mayfield, and when an organization backs their quarterback like that, you can't help but be confident and realize that, hey, you're the guy. You're the one in charge. You're steering the ship, so – you know, if somebody's complaining about not getting the ball, they, they kind of have to get over it. I think Baker is going to feel a little more comfortable in that role this year, especially because he's coming off a year where he was really good as opposed to in 2019, you know, when he was just brutal and he was kind of trying to recover from that last year. 